Hi, Graham. Hi. Um, what's the news on Tiago Silva? Is it around six weeks, you're thinking, and then later on Edward Mende and Kante? Um, yeah, Tiago will be around that time, I'm not sure exactly. Um, Mendy's making progress, not, not yet joined full training with the group. N'Golo had his first full training session today, uh, but obviously still needs time. Um, Mason's had a problem with his uh, lower abdomen area, a pubic bone, so he'll miss the game tomorrow. We don't think it'll be too long, but too, too soon tomorrow. Uh, Reese has a uh, little bit of tightness in his hamstring, we're just assessing him, but he's doubtful for tomorrow as well. So. Um, Aspie's made progress, but still not through the you know the protocols that you need to do after a head injury like that. Um, that's about it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> week after week, you're asked. Have you spoken to the owners? Day after day, you're getting it. Um, our reading this week: Leeds and Dortmund considered make or break games. Do you see it that way as well? Well, I, I don't tend to look at it in any way like that. I just tend to look at it, focus on the next match. You know, we know the situation we're in, which is we need to improve the results we've we've had. Um, that's my responsibility. They haven't been good enough. So um, that's all I focus on now. Mason Mount, when he came on against Spurs, looked a little bit, a bit of anger in him. And then he obviously got that book in. For you as the head coach, do you want this contract situation sorted? And do you think it's probably affecting his play at all? How do you see it over the next few weeks? Well, Mason, is, for for us, has been great to work with. He's been he's been top. Um, he's suffering like the rest of us because we want to do better. We want better results. But in terms of the contract, that's between him and the club. Um, I'm the head coach, and I get on with my job to work with the players and help them help them improve. And at the moment, we're not doing that as well as we'd like. So that's the focus for me. You want to make a lot of changes, obviously, and you, in the summer, I'm sure you want to make changes in and out as well. Is that someone you want <coughs> at this football club going forward? Well, I'm not thinking about the summer, with the greatest respect. I'm thinking about um, tomorrow's match. That's that's all I'm thinking about. Um, preparing the team, uh, helping the team, getting better results, getting a better performance, and responding to the you know the the the, the bad moment that we're in. That's the focus. Richard Masters talked about a little bit on Chelsea yesterday when he was asked about transfers and everything. He said, "Judge the club in three or four years." Do you, do, do you see that as the same as well? You, you talked about long term as well, because there have been so many changes in such a short space of time. Again, I think my my position is I, I need to focus on the next game. Um, what, whatever the discussions are over a longer term, that's not for me. Um, my discussion is tomorrow's match, focus on that, help the team. We understand the moment we're in, we understand where we are, so we need to improve. Finally, the top four is looking very unlikely after last Sunday's result. Is it better for Chelsea maybe to have a year out of Europe or financially is that unthinkable? I don't think it, at any point you can think it's a positive for us not to be in Europe. Um, that's uh, clear. We're a club with ambition and a club with desire to compete at the top. But like I said, at the moment we're not and we have to address that. And that starts with uh, tomorrow's match. Thanks, mate. Lindsay Hooper. Hi, Hi. Um, I wondered if there was anything that you're seeing significantly different in training to on a match day. Well, that's the um, the the frustrating bit for us because we've seen a lot of positives day to day, but they haven't been able to transfer themselves onto the pitch in terms of results. Um, performances haven't been as bad as our results, I would say, but still, nevertheless, we know the business we're in and the results we we haven't we haven't liked. But in terms of daily training, in terms of how the spirit is in the players, how the group's coming together, how the, the players are getting um, stronger, that's all positive. But it's hard to talk positive because we're in the moment where you know results aren't good. When you're going through those stages where you've got the two wins from 15 and you look at the next opposition like Leeds who are also desperate for points, I think we've seen when there have been other matchups like that in the Premier League that there's been a cautious approach. Has your main message for this one been not to be cautious but to be brave? Well, it's always the approach, um, but sometimes these things happen in football. I mean, the Premier League is the best league in the world. It's the best league in the world because everyone, anybody can beat anybody. Um, we have full respect for all the, the, the competition, but uh, the focus should be on us, should be on us being positive, understanding the position we're in, but we've been fighting. We've been fighting this week to prepare, to prepare well, to make sure we're in a position where we can conduct ourselves well and, and give a performance that our supporters are, are happy with. And for Leeds in particular, the high press, is that something that's going to start with your midfield for this game, being more resolute? 
Well, we know uh, Leeds, historically, since they've been in the Premier League, have always played with that intensity. So that's something we have to deal with. Um, we, 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 we're aware of that. So now we have to play ourselves and understand what the opponent brings, but be ourselves and try to perform in a good way. That, Like I said, we're after the points. We're fighting for the points. John Southall, Five Live. Hi, Greg. Hi. Um, can you explain what it's been like on the, the training pitch? I mean, obviously, you've got so many players to work with. I mean, how challenging is it? Is it difficult? Um, not, not really. We're, you know, we're, we're, we're coaches. It's our job to work with the players we have, and, and we've, and I think we've done it well. Um, like I said, training's been good. The spirit in the team has been good, as good as you can be when, when you're in a period of results that we, we're in. But I have to say that boys have taken responsibility. They, they understand where we're at. We all admit we can do better. Firstly, me and, and and the players are honest enough as well to know that they they can they can do better as well. So we're all there, we're all fighting, but we need to, you know, we need to show it on the pitch, and and that has to manifest itself in three points ultimately. I know we've asked you this a hundred times, but I think the owners have been here again today. Have you spoken to them? Are they giving you the same message still that you know whatever happens, they're they're behind you? Well, there is support, and of course I've spoken to them, but I'm 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 not uh, going to hide behind that. It's like I said, the results haven't been good enough for us, um, and you know I'm responsible for that. When you're a coach, you know if the results aren't good, you accept the criticism, you accept the all the noise that comes with it. My job is to stay with the team, stay focused, try to prepare the team as well as I can, and then um, win the game tomorrow. And what would your message be to the fans? Because I think it's fair to say they're getting a bit edgy. Ahead of the game tomorrow. Well, I think that's understandable. I mean, fans care, so it's an emotion, um, and and whatever, however that comes out is is understandable. Um, you know, we're hurting as well, uh, but we also know that they are. And again, it's it's understandable. Um, we thank them for their support because it's been there <coughs> completely. And I think when you lose at home one nil to the team that's bottom of the league, you expect a negative response. There's no complaints about that at all. Um, I have no complaints about our supporters. They've been fair with us. They've been supportive when they can. We haven't been, you know, good enough at the moment to give them enough to to be really excited about with the team. And that's the where the work is. And you say you're seeing things on the training pitch that maybe you're not seeing on match day. So how much is it when your team step on the pitch? Actually, it's, it's now becoming a psychological <coughs> issue given that the run you're on? Well, it's, it, every team in the world has moments where they, they, they find it difficult and some teams, sometimes you have moments where everything goes well. Um, we're in the, in the first moment, I'd say, so our job is to fight through it. There's no other way. Keep working, sticking together, keep fighting through it and um, believing that you can, you can turn it round and believing that the, the win is around the corner and that's what we hope, of course, for the weekend. It'd be nice to celebrate a goal with it tomorrow. It's been a, it's been a long time at home. I think the 15th of January. I think the last time it was a home goal. It'd be nice, yeah. Okay, good luck. Thank Moose, you. talk sport. You say that you could do better, Graham. Explain that for me. Well, the results are the results, and ultimately the coach is responsible. So we have to improve those. That's the first thing. Um, and then, and then you have to look at the performance of the team and how we can improve that because if generally if you improve the performance of the team you can get better results it doesn't it's not an exact science but that's certainly the area um, <clears throat> so that's my responsibility and that's what I have to do but you seem to be taking a lot of that responsibility on your shoulders well as a as the head coach I think you I think you have to that's the that's the, that's the job um, I don't think it's a, a total responsibility but it's certainly a, a huge responsibility um, and like I said, uh, the results haven't been good enough. We we know that and we accept that. <clears throat> There's no hiding behind it. Um, we have to we have to do better, and it starts with me. You said you want to concentrate just on tomorrow's game, not on the long term, just on what's immediately in front of you. How do you do that with all the noise that's been going about and people asking you constantly about whether the owners support you? Well, by not listening too much to it, to be honest, is the is the is the honest answer, and step by step. Uh, next training session, next meeting, next conversation with the player. Focus on the on the on the next thing, and then um, bit by bit you get through the days and you get through the the weeks, and that's how you how you work. But we're you know we're fighting for uh, improvement. We're fighting to do better. The spirit is there in the team. The spirit is there amongst the staff. The spirit is there in me. But um, as I said in the other week, talking is one thing. We have to do it. You know we have to do it on the pitch. Last one from me, what goals tomorrow? You want to win tomorrow, more probably than anything else. 
Would you sacrifice your footballing principles to get that tomorrow in that 90 minutes? And in other words, does it matter how you win tomorrow, whether you, you recognise it as being a Graham Potter team, as being everything you stand for, just as long as you win tomorrow? Well, the most important thing is, is Chelsea can win tomorrow. That's the most important thing. Um, it's, it's, uh, it, it's an easy thing to say, oh, you just do something else and you win. Um, clearly, there's, there's always a thought process there, but you can end up losing twice, there's no guarantees. That's the beauty of football, and it's certainly the beauty of the Premier League. It's the toughest league in the world, in a, in a game that's so difficult to control, football. Um, you have to fight for the results, and you have to understand when you're in a tough moment. You have to you have to keep fighting, sticking together, working hard, which is what the players have been doing, which is what we've been doing this week. We give it our best, and we uh, we try to win.